Hi everyone, this is David and I wanted to talk about another new feature that is coming to subtitle edit. It's still in beta uh, and uh, this is a following a request I did a couple of days ago. Support for embedding soft subtitles to video inside subtitle edit. Now the soft subtitles are subtitles that you can turn on or off. So I did a write up uh, mentioning what you can do, some tools that can do that. But it would be awesome to have this available inside subtitle edit and i'm happy to report that uh there are beta versions available right now that you can test and for mkv files uh, it can support a ton of uh, subtitles but for now we're going to be able to import srt and assa subtitle file formats uh, secondly uh, it requires the video to have one video track and one audio track so if you are video has multiple audio tracks it seems like it's not going to work so uh, that's out of the way you can always come over to this particular issue if it is still going to be open and add anything uh, that you'd like to see or just come to the issues tab here and then uh, create kind of a new issue request suggestion etc uh, and hopefully it can be considered uh, if it is viable and applicable so I've already downloaded the beta version and to download the beta version, just go to the code area and then you go to the releases right here. And then uh, you can scroll down and get this beta version. Now, the beta versions are portable versions, so you don't need to install. And I've already downloaded, extracted right here and install the different things that need to be installed like Whisper, VSK, FFmpeg, MPV, uh, Video Player etc. So all I'm going to do is just run subtitle edit. And once it's open, uh, it's going to open the last file I worked on. So let's actually begin from a fresh new uh, section. So uh, to use uh, or to embed soft subtitles to your video, you can do it two ways. You can go to video, open video file, select the video that you want, click on open, and then come to video, generate video with embedded subtitles. Click on this and then click on add to add the subtitles that you already have because you want to add multiple language subtitles but not as binding subtitles as soft subtitles subtitles that when you play the video using a video player like vlc you can turn on or off so i can click on open so that's the first method i want to show you both methods uh we can go to let's click on new let's go to video generate video with embedded subtitles and then from the input video file, just click on the three dots, navigate to the folder with the, with the video, click on it, click on open, and then come to add, and then select the subtitles you want to embed to the video. Let's say we want these four, and then click on open. Now, from this section, you'll see the format, the language of that particular subtitle, which is really awesome, and then whether it's going to play in the video by default that is once you play the video if you set this as true it should play that is when you toggle this particular default it should play once you play the video so uh, you can do that you can also force this particular one to be the one that is going to play uh, let's set that as default and we leave it at that now uh, I don't want to swap anything else here but you can move the languages up and down depending on what you want you can also set the language if it is not available and if you know and also double clicking on a subtitle will uh, give you like a, a quick view of what the subtitle file looks like etc so now that we have set the english one to be our default let's click on generate now uh, i'm going to save into this soft subtitles folder and just a quick note i've noticed that when you choose the savers type as mp4 the subtitles, yes, they are there, but they will not adhere to the default. That is the true option that you just set right there for them once they play for the English subtitle to be available. Therefore, I'm going to choose uh, Matroska or MKV and click on save. Once I do that, it's done. There is no re-encoding. It is just embedding. And then just click on open containing folder. Let's navigate to it and let's play and it's going to play in VLC. I'll pause it a little bit and right click subtitle 
when you look at the subtit subtitle track it has already selected the english version so if i play this with the recent update it plays the subtitles by default so you can actually now go ahead and say let's say we choose something like portuguese and then play on the youtube interface it's now easier than before to download youtube transcripts hi my name is david so i believe that's portuguese uh these are auto translated subtitles uh just for the purposes of demonstration so uh i think that's good you can also disable if you don't want to read through the subtitles that's where soft subtitles come in but one uh little downside is that if you upload a video with soft subtitles to maybe something like youtube they'll not be recognized so at the time of recording this video hopefully in future they can recognize i don't know but the good thing is that you can actually now even embed subtitles that have styling uh especially assa some subtitles could be up here others down here uh and you want to watch on your laptop or something and enjoy uh the content now i think i can quickly do a display let's say new uh of what i mean when i say that the mp4 version uh doesn't work the way it needs to work let's go to the original file and then we add the subtitles uh in one of the better versions it worked i'm not sure what i need to do but i think probably is a code issue so if you know what is happening let us know let's say toggle default and then click on generate and then we are going to choose mp4 and then we say we can call it something uh we can actually remove the original here title and then go to soft subtitles and save it there it's done open containing folder let's wait and see if it's going to be available it's this one if i double click it if i right click subtitle subtitle track it's disabled by default even though from the settings we set uh the subtitle to be set as true not sure what is happening with mp4 uh it's bringing it out as uh without any subtitle but i love it to be in english so uh that's it uh for this one uh that's another new feature coming to subtitle edit and this is the beta version uh subtitle edit 3.6.11 next beta 164 and it's called the generate video with embedded subtitles so that looks good i hope that this video is going to be of value to you thank you so much for watching and until next time stay safe and never stop learning